Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about The Witches on HBO Max and uh, <laughs> the controversy around this movie. Now, I would never think this movie would be controversial other than the fact that it looks like uh, shit. It looks like a terrible movie. It looks like another unnecessary remake uh, that is not as good as the original for those of you who have never seen the original. Angelica Houston, I recommend checking it out. Uh, it was an underrated classic in the uh, 1980s. And uh, yeah, HBO Max felt the need to redo this movie, remake this movie. And the controversy isn't about the quality of the movie, which is uh, not good. Not good. Uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score is pretty terrible, to be honest. But they dumped it onto HBO Max because of theaters being shut down. This one was not going to make a lot of money in a the theater. The controversy is actually over uh, Anne Hathaway's character being the, the head witch, uh, having only three fingers in the way that she does. I'm not kidding. This is actually a controversy and uh, we're going to talk about that. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. We're at over 150,000 subs, guys. Thanks for the support. Uh, we do talk about movies. We talk about anime. We talk about animation, comic books, manga, uh, whatever interests us that day. And this is actually kind of old news. This happened a couple of days ago, but we haven't really talked about it. We've had people ask us to talk about it. So Bounding in the Comics has uh, a pretty good recap of what's going on here. Anne Hathaway's character uh, only has three digits. Now, that is because she's a witch, and according to the, the universe that the witches take place in, witches are not, not humans. Uh, in fact, this happened with Angelica Houston's character in the original where she was bald. She was actually wearing a wig, and uh, the witches had square toes and, and all of that, that they were not, uh, not technically human. Now, uh, the problem is, because she's only got three fingers, some people are offended offended by this because it does look similar to an actual uh, an actual disability, which is called uh, ectodactyly, a limb disability where you're missing uh, a few fingers on a hand. And I actually have, have met people that have had uh, disabilities like this, so I get that. But, uh, you know, I, I do think that maybe, maybe it was a little bit of an overreaction. I don't know, uh, because it is meant to be a fictional character. And uh, anyway, but this is 2020, right? So everybody uh, is upset about everything. And we're going to talk about this. Uh, Anne Hathaway has to apologize. She has to apologize for her character. But the, the problem is, is that this was probably not her decision, was it? Uh, this is what the, uh, the uh, set designers and the director decided on. They, they made her look more... I guess, uh, inhuman in a way than the original did. Actually, I was sort of like expecting her mouth to open. Like, I haven't watched the movie. She's got the scars on her face, like the Joker. And I'm kind of like, does her mouth open like a snake too? Is that is that what happens? Um, but they were going for something a little bit different than the Angelica Houston version. So Anne Hathaway has to issue an apology to the limb different audiences following the backlash toward her three-fingered character design in the HBO remake of The Witches. Uh, she issued an apology for her depiction of her character in the HBO remake of The Witches following a wave of backlash from limb-different individuals who took offense to the character's three-fingered design. A remake of the 1990 film uh, by Nicholas Rogue and Jim Henson, itself based upon Roald Dahl's 83 book of the same name, The Witches follows a young boy and his grandmother, as they attempt to stop a group of child-hating witches after accidentally discovering the witch's plan to transform the world's children into mice. The original was actually very, very underrated. Uh, it actually was a fun movie. In the remake, Hathaway's version of the Grand High Witch is depicted with hands bearing only three fingers apiece, similar to the real-world congenital disorder uh, ectodactyly. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if I am. Uh, in an attempt to visually reinforce her monstrous, in quotes, nature. An illustrated guide on how to recognize a witch, which was published in the original book, Dahl describes the various uh, traits seen amongst witches, particularly knowing that witches had claws hidden by gloves. They had square toes, they had claws, and they were bald. Now, what, what's, interesting, what's interesting is we're not hearing from uh, actual practicing witches 
about being being portrayed as monstrous. Um, we didn't hear from from any actual witches, uh, you know, because that does happen a lot of times when they portray witches as being uh, not very pleasant or not human in movies. We actually do uh, have practitioners, Wiccan practitioners who who complain about that but that's not what happens so this is interesting uh following the film's premiere on october 22nd the film found itself under fire from advocates for the disabled community who believe that the grand high witch's appearance would lead real world audiences to view individuals living uh with this condition and other disabilities as monsters uh retired paralymian uh amy Marin. Uh, tweeted Warner Brothers was there much thought given as to how this representation of limb differences would affect the limb in different community. Um, she said, I'm fully aware that this is a film and there are witches, said Marin in a statement attached to the tweet, but witches are essentially monsters. Well, that's problematic. I think there are some Wiccans who would who would agree uh, or disagree with, with that. Uh, my fear is that children will watch this film unaware that it massively exaggerates the world doll original and limb differences begin to be feared. Well, yeah, this is not what she looked like in the original. Um, English journalist and comedian Alex Brooker, himself born with deformities in his hand, arm, and leg, wrote in an Instagram story that as someone with missing fingers, it's made me so sad to see how this is portrayed as something to be scared of in the remake of The Witches. I know it's just a film, but I want disabled kids to celebrate who they are and not feel like they have the same hands as a fictional monster. The backlash eventually spawned the hashtag, not a witch, in which various individuals with deformities or disabilities published photos of themselves in an attempt to prove that those with limb differences were not monsters. Man, this just backfired spectacularly, didn't it? Because um, I could have told you when they talked about remaking the witches, I'm like, don't do it. Don't remake this movie. Uh, don't remake this movie. But they did. And, and uh, you know, apparently they didn't, didn't think it through. Um, so Twitter user Shannon Crossland declared that the appearance of Hathaway's hands as a way to enhance the character's frightening image was not acceptable. Not acceptable. Uh, we've got other people showing that they are not witches. But then again, hey, I'm, if I'm, I'm being fair, if I'm being fair... Why aren't actual witches complaining about the movie too? Or why are they are actual witches upset that there there's a hashtag called not a witch? Uh, I don't know, but there are people posting pictures. So of course, you know, Anne Hathaway has to say something. Uh, the Paralympic Games, the Paralympic Games put this tweet out there. Uh, limb difference is not scary. Differences should be celebrated, and disability has to be normalized. So this movie is getting more recognition for being problematic, for being problematic than it is actually audiences giving a shit about it. Um, in a statement released immediately following the backlash, Warner Brothers stated they were deeply saddened to learn that our depiction of fictional characters and the witches could upset people with disabilities and regret any offense caused. Yeah, I don't think they were trying to offend people. Uh, I really don't. I think this wasn't malicious. Uh, it just, you know, maybe I'm surprised given how Warner is right now. Um, I have to admit that I'm surprised that they have somebody looking over their shoulder to be like, tap, tap, Warner. No, no, no. You should not do that. We've got a list of things that could potentially offend people. And this is on that, that list of many, 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 many things. Again, I think it's offensive that they remade the movie uh, to begin with. <laughs> you know, noted that Hathaway's triple-digit hand was designed as a new interpretation of the cat-like claws that are described in the book. It was never the intention for viewers to feel that the fantastical, non-human creatures were meant to represent them, explained Warner Brothers. This film is about the power of kindness and friendship. It's our hope that families and children can enjoy the film and embrace this empowering, love-filled theme. So Anne Hathaway would later follow Warner Brothers' statement with an apology, taking to Instagram to share a video produced by the Lucky Finn Project, a nonprofit organization that exists to raise awareness and celebrate children and individuals uh, born with other limb differences. And uh, explained that she recently learned that many people with limb differences, especially children, are in pain because of the portrayal of the Grand High Witch. Now, Warner Brothers also, also, produced Batman Returns back in the day. And for reasons unknown, 
they gave the penguin uh, flipper hands. The penguin did not have flipper hands in the comic. They just wanted him to look more like a bird. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I'm going to put that out there. Let me begin by saying I do my best to be sensitive to the feelings and experiences of others, not out of some scrambling PC fear, but because not hurting others seems like a basic level of decency. We should be striving for, said Anne Hathaway. She added, as someone who really believes in inclusive inclusivity and really, really detests cruelty, I owe you all an apology for the pain caused. Now, be aware uh, she is an actress doing what she was paid to do, and the hands were probably CG and not her idea. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put that out there. I'm sorry I did not collect connect limb difference with the G. H.W., the Grand High Witch, when the look of the character was brought to me. If I had, I assure you, this never would have happened. Um, you know, the actress concludes with her statement by saying she particularly wished to say I'm sorry to kids with limb differences. Now that I know better, I promise I'll do better. This is always, this is always the way it is. When somebody's going to be canceled, I promise I will do better. I will be better. Uh, Anne Hathaway promised, and I owe a special apology to everyone who loves you as fiercely as I love my own kids. I'm sorry I let your family down. I let your family down. Uh, you know, so that is the controversy over the witches, not the fact that the movie is terrible, but that Anne Hathaway had to apologize for for this. Um, early in the week, yeah, so that Warner Brothers did issue a statement. Um, they said they had no idea that this could be a thing, but I'm sure they'll add it to the list of many things because Warner Brothers these days. Now we went from the Warner Brothers that last year was fiercely defending the Joker and they were like the media is making it out to be something it isn't to this year, current year. And I don't know if it's Jason Kalar or what's going on over there, but now they're like, you know, everything is potentially offensive and anything that's potentially offensive needs to go away. Uh, we see what they're doing with Rooster Teeth going back and purging a lot of old content. Of course, after you know recent events at Rooster Teeth, they probably should. Um, but it does seem like they're going out of their way to be super extra, extra uh, cautious. But again, what about the witches? The actual witches who are being demonized um, for their religious beliefs? You know, what about the witches? Nobody's thinking about actual witches who are being demonized by this movie. Nobody cares. What about them? I don't know. Uh, just putting it out there, very interesting turn of events. Again, this movie would have been completely forgotten, completely forgotten if it wasn't for the controversy. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and I'll talk to you guys later.